Hi, I'm Steve Harrod, CTO at VMware, and it gives me great pleasure today to talk about the launch of VMware vSphere 4.1. Uh, this is a great release from my standpoint for two reasons, both technology uh, and on the engineering side. So let's talk about both of those uh, real quickly. So we launched VMware vSphere 4.0 uh, over a year ago, and at the time we really put a lot of work into developing this new platform for cloud computing. With vSphere 4.1, we're both tightening the screws on that release and really taking full advantage of its architectural changes, and also adding a, a lot of new capabilities to it. And uh, when we launched VMware vSphere, we talked about efficiency, control, and choice as these three tenets that we'd always be working on. And we really moved the bar forward on each of those in this release. So on the efficiency side, uh, one of the most amazing things our team has done has been on the vCenter scalability angle. And so with this new release, we're now able to control up to 10,000 virtual machines from a single vCenter. And we've also been able to do faster vMotions and even run applications faster. So all of these are really about taking full advantage of the hardware that you purchase and making sure that we're ready for this cloud scale environment. Uh, we're also launching something really neat called memory compression. And that's bringing more efficiency out of the hardware that you purchase, um, especially as CPUs are getting faster and more cores. Uh, the memory becomes a bottleneck. And we're essentially able to uh, insert ourselves between the virtual machines and the underlying RAM in the system and compress some of those pages uh, before they have to go out to what's called a swap file. Um, end result, though, is that you can run more virtual machines on a single platform. Now, we've seen as much as 25% more virtual machines with the same amount of memory that you purchased. So that's really nice as well. Uh, the other angle on the technology side I wanted to talk about was around control. And this is a really big deal as people are going to the cloud. Uh, we often hear about concerns over uh, what's sometimes called the noisy neighbor problem. And that means that you don't have control over the performance of your virtual machine if someone else starts running a high performance requiring virtual machine at the same time. Uh, so what we're able to do with a new feature called storage I.O. control is restrict and guarantee a certain amount of performance to a virtual machine, even at the storage level where everyone's actually coming down to the same storage array. So the end result is that you can guarantee a level of performance for your virtual machine and thus be confident putting it into a shared environment like the cloud is. So uh, several other technology advancements that you'll hear about, but those are some I wanted to highlight. Uh, the other aspect of vSphere 4.1 I really am excited about is more on the engineering side. So our team has been working tirelessly to get this release out the door. And it's also representative of a new model for development that we're doing. So we're really moving to very regular cadences for these releases. And so you can expect a steady stream of innovation coming us, rather than um, longer spaced apart releases with very big um, sets of features. So I think ultimately what this is going to do is give more predictability to our partners. Um, we have literally more than a thousand technology partners now that are building products around vSphere, and we want to make sure their products are ready at launch and that we can fully take advantage of them. And same for our customers. We want to make sure that you can take on these releases and know that they're going to have a quality level and a performance level that makes them easy to adopt into your system. Um, so kudos to our team for a great job on the release process, and I hope you'll enjoy the regular innovation that's coming from VMware. Uh, so once again, I'm very happy about this release. I hope you get a chance to check it out, and uh, I hope it gives you a, a great way to get started on your journey to the cloud.